What is the cheapest way to chlorinate your swimming pool? You need chlorine, you wanna go swimming. Sometimes the prices get out of control with chlorine, especially when there's you know a shortage and a high demand. And so traditionally speaking, when a pool owner asks that question, normally it's liquid chlorine. Liquid chlorine is normally the cheapest way overall to maintain your swimming pool water chemistry or your free chlorine, chlorine in your pool. You find a local pool and spa store, most of the time they have like a buy 10, get one free thing, something like that. And the liquid chlorine gig isn't, isn't, it's not a big money maker, you know, like the margins are very slim. You got to do a lot of work. You got the big chlorine tanks and the concerns of having something like that. And the truth is, is that it's like, even as a pool person myself, I would be disinclined to offer that if it wasn't something that, you know, customers demanded because people need chlorine for their pools. And this is by and large, the most economical way to deliver it. You know, when the prices start getting, you know, 200, 300% up in a two to three year period, you can really start to make a valid argument for things like a salt chlorine generator and stuff like that. But I think you're still paying more. At the end of the day, you might probably pay more by the time that you're installing it. You know, if you installed it yourself and saved a bunch of money and risk not having warranty and maybe at the end of the day, it's easier for you to get out ahead from that equation. But I think for the average swimming pool owner, who's just like, look, I'm trying to not get taken for a ride. What do I do here? Uh, stay away from chlorine pucks. That's probably not the move to make. And the reason why is most of them have cyanuric acid in it. And as you add pucks, you increase the stabilizer level of your pool. Eventually, this will cause your chlorine to stop working. Your pool water will turn green. You don't know what's going on a lot of the time. And eventually, you figure it out and know that your stabilizer is too high. But to fix it, the conventional method is partially draining and refilling your pool. So there's cost and there's time. And all of that can be avoided. Just use liquid chlorine. It's cheap. It's readily available. It's not stabilized. So as you add it to your pool, you are not increasing your stabilizer or your cyanuric acid level. You set your cyanuric acid at 30 to 50 parts per million and you leave it there because you use liquid chlorine. It's easy for um, breakpoint chlorination where you have to add a lot more chlorine than normal to your pool. I like liquid chlorine for taking care of swimming pools. The only disadvantage I think I ha I could say at all is you have to go to the store and you have to buy jugs of chlorine and usually put them in the trunk of your car. And, you know, you, you sure wouldn't want to have a leaker in one of those. And I think pool and spa stores work pretty hard and they're pretty diligent about getting the crack jugs out of there and making sure they're not leaking because they don't want to ruin their customers' cars and their property and stuff like that. But it is a little bit of a risk and certainly a little bit of an inconvenience, but ultimately a small price to pay to have such a big luxury of a swimming pool. And it is more or less uh, the most economical way to go about chlorinating your pool. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.